What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Wednesday morning edition of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralt. I'm here every single morning on bettingpros.com, YouTube for video, and wherever you get your audio podcasts every morning, you guys can find this podcast thanks to BetMGM, our offer $10 to win $150 for free on any event. Use that promo code JUICE150 when you sign up for a new account at BetMGM.com. BetMGM on the app. Using that promo code JUICE150 to get in. Now, we are approaching the end of the month. We are approaching what is going to be a very chaotic couple of days for me, okay? You guys, you know I love you guys, right? And I, I feel a kinship to the Juice audience. I feel like I'm supposed to tell you guys things before the public will find out. Uh... You're going to get some an announcement on Thursday that something will be happening on Friday. Nothing is impacting the juice, all right? Just before you even ask, before you go, wait, what's happening? Just know you'll see some stuff <laughs> that's going to happen with me. Betting pros knows. Dan Harris knows. Dan's, Dan has known about what's coming down the pike uh, for weeks, okay? This is nothing new. It's not news to the betting pros, folks, as to what will be happening but nothing is happening for the juice. So when you hear this on Friday and, or I guess on Thursday, you'll hear the announcement. And then I will, I will tell you guys over the weekend, really what's going on. I'll give you kind of the scuttlebutt before I make it official, official and public, public. Uh, But just know that nothing's changing. Okay. So when everybody comes in, someone says, wait, what's going, nothing's changing. Okay. So please on the discord channel and people run around on Twitter and they get all crazy. Nothing is changing with the Daily Juice, okay? Just heads up on that. But you will understand why I have been really stressed out, (laughs) and I've been, uh, you know, you might be like, Matt, you haven't been in the Discord channel all that much, or Matt, you haven't been doing this or that, or, you know, you'll understand. You'll understand. But it's the end of the month. That means giveaway time. The Justin Jefferson jersey to be given away is now going to happen at the end of the month. If you've not gone to bettingpros.com slash juice, and fill out the form, please do that. Leave a review on Apple or uh, Apple Podcasts, fill out the entire form, and you guys will be entered in. You've already done it. You're already in. We'll pull the winner coming up in another month, and you could win a beautiful autograph, Justin Jefferson jersey, thanks to Betting Pros and the Daily Juice and everything else we do, thanks to Pristine Auction and everything else. So very cool stuff happening at the end of the month. Make sure you're in on that. All right. Last night could have been a sweep. We could have gone 4-0 last night. So we get the Braves on the money line. They win plus 120 cash. Then the over eight and a half was an ad on the Discord channel, official ad. Two home runs should have gone out of the ballpark. One missed a home run by a foot. The other was to the left of the, of the foul pole by a foot. Two feet, two home runs, and we missed the over on that. <sighs> Frustration. Frustration because the Saints win by three. And, man, we really felt like it was... It was there. You know, it was right there for us. And unfortunately, we don't get that right. Um, I just realized I forgot to post the Warrior play on Twitter. So that that Warrior, that my normal tweet is not right. Last night wasn't a winning night. We lost last night. Yeah, we lost last night. Okay. I thought I I, I forgot about the Warriors because the Warriors were nine point favorites and they won by eight. And they had Steph Curry had a horrible turnover late in that game. So. We get the over half unit wrong, eight and a half. We get the minus eight, or sorry, minus nine. They win by eight. We get that wrong. And Jokic gets hurt. He has six boards. We need 12. He's got six boards. Second quarter, about five minutes to go. He bangs knees with Rudy Gobert, and he's out for the game. So that prop pit misses. And then thankfully, Mike Conley Jr. saved the entire night because he got that right. If Mike Conley Jr. had got that had not scored that last second bucket, that would have been brutal. It would have been an awful loss. So instead, it's a uh, it's a two and three night down about a little less than a half unit because of the plus 120. So yeah, it's a losing night, but not a lot. It's like a 0. .4, 0. .3 losing night for that reason. And just a real frustration night, okay? With that Saints game, Saints were four-point favorites. They win by three. Warriors, nine-point favorites. They win by eight. Jokic gets hurt. And we've get we have the uh, home runs missed by two feet. Two home runs could have been hit, could have gone to the over. Instead, it goes under eight and a half. So just, ugh, just blah. Okay. So for that reason, here's what we're doing. 
as I told you last night, one unit on the Braves to win the series. If the Braves won game one, we were coming back on the Astros because we're getting plus money on the Astros. We got a beautiful price, okay? Tonight, I got it at plus 145. So here is one full unit on the Braves at plus 120 and one full unit on the Astros at plus 145, okay? We're winning anyway. Not winning huge money. I'm not going to sit here and tell you we're going to win tons of money, but we're winning, okay? <laughs> we're winning. So Astros win this series. We will win 0.45 units, basically. The Braves win the series. We're winning 0.2 units, okay? We're still going to bet different games. I have a play on the game coming up here tonight. But I like that as just an automatic built-in W. And we can play off of it. We can come back and bet on different times. That may not be the last time I bet on this overall where we are because Astros at plus 145. The Braves lose game two. Astros probably go back to being a favorite depending on where we are with the Braves. We may come back and bet again on the Braves. Like, we'll, we'll figure some things out here, okay, as to how we're going to go. But first bet, one full unit, Astros to win the World Series at plus 145, okay? So now two units in play, canceling each other out. We're guaranteed money right there, guaranteed to win on the World Series. No matter who wins, we're guaranteed to cash and to be profitable, okay? That's good. Second bet on the day. Astros money line at minus 110. I'm taking Houston to win this game, all right? I know that Max Freed's been pretty good, but I think this Astros lineup will come to life tonight. I don't think they're going to be held down again for a second straight game at home, and I think this is where the bats maybe calm down just a little bit for the Braves. I could see this game going under. It went under last night, but I really could see this game going under. I could see this game being like a 4-1 win for the Astros, okay? But I think they've got a decent advantage. Um, your Quiddy going, you know, off to, to the mound for the Astros. I kill his name, so I, I you know, don't don't ask me to say it too many times. But I, I think he can come up and have a big start for them. He's in a big spot. The bullpen wasn't burned too much. Charlie Morton breaking his leg and throwing 12 pitches on a broken leg is incredible. If they win this series, that's going to go down in World Series lore. But it's a really big blow to that starting rotation not to have Charlie Morton to go in game four of this series. And he may even go in game one, game four, game seven. So not having him is going to be a real big blow, I think, to the Braves' chances of winning the World Series. I think the Astros come back here and win this game. It's only minus 110. I'm taking the Astros to win game two. Half a unit on the Astros to win game two here at home. Astros minus 110, money line. All right? Now, I have a half unit flying around. There's no college football to bet on. I'm not betting the Thursday night game yet. Right now, I lean Packers plus six, but I, wa I really want to see. I lean Packers plus six, and I lean to the over as well, and I may do a same game parlay. I may bet both at a half a unit. I, I don't really know. I haven't figured out yet what I'm doing, but I want seven. The Packers are going to be without Alan Lazard and they're going to be without Devontae Adams. I think we're going, to, we're going to get seven. I really do. With those two wideouts being out, I think we get to seven by, by game time. So Packers plus seven, and then the total being 50 and a half, 51, somewhere in that range. I think it's a high-scoring game. I like the over in the game as well. So rather than doing a teaser, I may just take a half unit on either side for Thursday, but that will be for tomorrow's podcast, not for today's podcast. Uh, there's, high, there's college football on Thursday. We can get into Coastal's playing on Thursday. So we'd have some stuff on that. It's an off day for Major League Baseball for the World Series, so it fits in perfectly. We may come in and play a little hockey. My hockey cold streak continues. I had another personal play. I, I like, dip my toe in the water. I'm like, let's just see if I bet an under. Let's see what happens. I bet the Kraken under in Montreal. Kraken scores five goals. Yeah, sorry. Five won the final. Pfft, five to the five and a half under. I'm really, I am amazingly bad at hockey right now. It is unreal how bad I am at betting hockey right now. But, yeah, so I'm not making official plays for hockey anytime soon. You won't see hockey bets on the podcast. But we have uh, the Hawks playing tonight. So we got John Collins and we got Clint Capella props potentially jumping on. The Bucks are playing tonight. So we got Pat Connington, one and a half over one and a half made threes to get into tonight. So our favorite prop bets are potentially available for us here. So I will add some prop bets coming up here in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat to get in. However, that leaves a half a unit for the podcast. I'm going to do something you should not do. And I, if you want to fade this or you don't want to bet this, that's fine. But it's just been a hell of a week, and I just want to have some fun. The Hawks are on the road at 
the New Orleans Pelicans. No Zion, right? You guys know how I feel about the Hawks. I like the Hawks a lot. But six points seems a little heavy to me here with the Hawks on the road. They're due to kind of have a crazy night. They're due to kind of have an off night. And so at home, I like backing the Hawks. On the road, they lost their first road game to the Cavaliers. Could they lose this game to the Pelicans, though? I don't think so. I don't think the Pelicans can score enough to keep up. But I'm going to do a four-point NBA teaser at a half a unit. This is just a dumb bet, okay? I'm telling you right now, make fun of me, tease me, whatever. I don't care. I just want to have action on two different games and not get too and not get too heavily involved monetarily. I'm going to tease the Hawks down to minus two on the road at New Orleans, okay? Hawks minus two. And then I'm going to come back with the Celtics at minus four and a half at home against the Wizards, all right? Boston's at home. They had that crazy come-from-behind win in their last game in overtime, I like the Celtics are at home, but laying four and a half, four point teaser takes it down to a half a point. This is a minus 105 teaser for a half a unit. Okay, just being on two sides, Hawks minus two, Celtics half a point. Both teams basically, it's essentially a money line parlay in a way. But you may get a better. I tried. I, there are no money lines available right now for me to bet on. So here in Vegas, so if you want, to, if you find a better odd, if you get better odds on a money line parlay with Hawks Celtics, okay, go ahead and jump on that. Don't know you're going to, though. Minus 105 is decent. Under minus 110. Hawks, Celtics, four-point NBA teaser. Dumb bet. Not going to defend it. But for a half a unit, why not? <laughs> Let's just have some fun. It's been a hell of a week. And there's been all sorts of crazy things happening. I just want to have some fun tonight. So th- th- this is a fun bet for a half a unit. Flyer, stupid, dumb, fun bet. Hawks minus two, Celtics half a point for a four-point NBA teaser for tonight here on a Wednesday. Okay. Prop bets to come at some point in the near future. But again, the full plays. Astros to win the World Series at plus 145, full unit. Astros money line tonight, game two, minus 110, half a unit. Full unit on the Astros to win it all, half a unit tonight for game two. Hawks minus two, Celtics minus half a point for a minus 105, half a unit, two-leg NBA teaser for us here Prop bets still to come inside the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat for that. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt. Each and every morning, it's the Daily Juice podcast right here on bettingpros.com. Always being brought to you by BetMGM.